I came to New York by the employment of TWA, Trans World Airlines at that time. I had gone through training and become a flight attendant. I was moving from a very small town in Mississippi. Even though Bob is from New York, that's not a minus by any means. <laughs> but, you know, I, well, I do recognize that he's very much the epitome of a New Yorker. I still, though I love New York, I still view myself as a Southerner. I am a Southern girl living in New York as a New Yorker. <laughs> Well, we started uh, Coffee of Grace about four and a half years ago. I heard President Kagame of Rwanda speak about his country and people wanted trade, not aid. I found out that coffee was a big resource. I was probably like most other Americans, like thinking uh, coffee comes from Colombia. I had never tasted coffee like the coffee that I tasted there. I then decided I wanted to bring it back to the States, raise the awareness, and sourced directly from the farmers. So it was that trip and meeting the people there and seeing how hard they work and seeing how, how they valued their work, their lives. Um, it was a synergy that I had from when I was growing up in Mississippi because I grew up on a small farm and because I had seen uh, my mom work on the farm. And here in Rwanda, many women w did the labor it wasn't about me giving anything to the people. It's what they gave to me as a person. They helped me to see who I am and what was inside of me. And that's an incredible gift.